this game was um, was exceptional, challenging for us because we really didn't know what to expect uh, out of the University of Florida, and we really had a lot of questions that we had to answer about ourselves. Uh, those of you who watched us play the last couple of years, we we most of the time we win games not without guys who are one from five, but guys who are from six to eleven, and, and we had a, a hard time trying to figure out how to develop a rotation against a, a very good basketball team. I thought our veterans really did a very good job defensively the first half. And we got some, got an opportunity to, to get some of our uh, un, inexperienced players in the, in, the, in the first half. I thought they relaxed and overall we came back the second half and turned it up a little notch. Our defense was excellent, uh, rebounding. And we got out early in the second half and got some stops and got some easy baskets, and I thought we were able to maintain some momentum from, from the remainder of the game. Florida's a very good basketball team. They're very well coached. The coach does a great job. Uh, I think it's, these types of games early in the year are, are, are very difficult for both teams. Uh, we just kind of, I thought our defense was a little bit better, and I thought we had, PJ gave us some, some good looks, and we got some deflections and steals, and got some easy baskets, and, and, and was able to extend the lead. Questions, please? It seemed like you guys were very, very active defensively early uh, in the passing lanes. Is that something you've seen throughout the season? Well, once again, we try to, to be that way, but you don't really know until you go into a game like this whether or not they're absorbing what you're trying to teach. Uh, we, we do, we try to execute defensively uh, with, with uh, closeouts and activity with our hands and trying to mirror the ball to try to take away vision. But sometimes, uh, fundamentally, you don't all, you're not always as consistent as you would like to be. Tonight, I thought we were very consistent because we have a tremendous amount of respect for Florida. We, we knew that if we weren't at our very, very best, you know, uh, this game could have been different. So I, the, the respect we have for them, I thought, motivated our guys. Uh, and I thought they were really locked in and concentrated uh, for the whole 40 minutes. We've had moments in practice where, you know, when you're out there shooting and you're shooting drills, you don't have any defense on you and you see the ball going in, you know, you get a, a feeling that if we can get those types of shots, uh, you know, more than likely we, we, we can hit a high percentage of them. And, and the, the challenge for us against a team who's as athletic and de defends as well as, as Florida does is for us to move the ball and create those opportunities for, our, for, for your teammates. And, I thought we did a pretty good job of moving the ball and, and looking for some of those guys that we thought were pretty good shooters. Larry, I guess, how much better defensively is Well, that's part of the growth process, you know, and, and that, that youngsters go through. Um, uh, it was a that was new for him last year, and he had a lot of adjustments that he's had to make. And, I think you see that he's been coachable. He comes by and wants, wants to watch film. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, attentive. He's eager to learn. He's becoming more and more a sponge. And, uh, he has just made his mind up. He want to be what you call a complete player, a guy who defends and, and well is a good offensive player on the other end. So I'm very proud of the progress he's making. I thought his effort and his condition level was, was, was outstanding. You spoke during the offseason about wanting the team to get to the line Well, you know, we, we're just starting to, to figure out who we are. And we, so we just, just, I'm not ready to start taking any bows now. You know, we played a good basketball game tonight you know, against a very good basketball team. Uh, but we still have a long ways to go. You know, we have to maintain that we still have enough memories from last year uh, that we, it keeps us in check. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. It's one game, and uh, we got to enjoy this for a moment. We got to get back to the, to the grind on, on Thursday and see whether or not we can prepare ourselves to go play this stuff on the road and uh, play against uh, a two-lane basketball team on Sunday. Coach, given the fact that Phil, one of your best players, if not the best player, didn't play in this game, you guys still dominated a pretty quality team by this big of a margin. How good can this team be? Well, you know, it, it's, it's yet, you know, I think that we get, can be a pretty good basketball team, but we got to continue to keep growing because what happens with with youngsters, it, most of it's mental. 
and emotional, you know, it, it, more so than physical. Uh, it's not that much difference uh, from, from year to year. It's just that, like M MJ, he's more mature and uh, he's more focused and, and I think he's um, a little more relaxed and that's part of the growth process. Uh, we have to factor that into um, our, the potential of how good we can become. And uh, to, tonight I thought that the respect that we have for the University of Florida brought us mentally and emotionally together. Sometimes we had some moments last year where we played excellent basketball and we faltered on that. That's part of the maturing process. We hope, we talk about it awful lot. Uh, we, we hope that we can use the things that we, that we learned from last year that, that, that gave us the opportunity to have a little success. We hope we can learn from that. But we also want to learn from those moments where I thought we didn't always play as well as we played tonight. Any last question, please? Fifth win in a row in Florida. Coach, I think the program best for, for this university to win five. You, you know, I, to be honest with you, I, I mean, you know, this, I'm not real sure what that means. In other words, we've had some really good games, and some of the games have been, really been close. The games could have gone either way. Uh, if you remember the one that I think we knocked the ball up in the air and scored at the end, and we hit, Bacon hit a shot at, at the buzzer. So, you know, it's been, they've been hard fought games. The last two games, we've kind of gotten out on them. Uh, but uh, a new coach comes into the program, building his, getting his players, and building his culture. Now, don't worry. Don't worry, Florida will be just where they have always been in a short period of time. Just give Coach White a little more time. He's going, and we got we got to stay sharp and don't understand this is one game. Uh, we, we got the best of them tonight, but believe me, we, we know that they're going to be right where they were a few years ago, winning back-to-back -back national titles. Uh, too soon for me. <laughs> Over 11,000 here tonight. I mean, just what can that kind of environment do for your team at home? And I mean, how important going forward is it to be a back to be a more well, I was, I was very impressed with the students who stepped in and, and gave us a big lift tonight. Uh, uh, rainy night, uh, 9 o'clock game, uh, election <coughs> night. So we had a lot of distractions. So I, I really got to be thankful to our fans. Uh, Seminole, the sixth man in the stand, came out live and they were doing very well tonight. It, it's, uh, it's interesting for me to always feel uh, that, I, that we're giving our visitors a little taste of the same medicine I get when I go on the road. <laughs> So, uh, thank you very much, Seminole Nation. I really, we really appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.